there's the documentation. And then you don't shut your mouth. You know exactly where it's gonna go. You know, he's nothing stupid. He's dragged it along for four years when he could have just got a resolve at the beginning, couldn't he? He could have turned the corner four years ago, couldn't he? Now, what's he done? He's given the feds the opportunity to give him an 18 months custodial sentence. What does that mean? It means he'll do half and he'll get out. What does that mean? It means he's on license for nine months and he's gonna have conditions that are gonna be very, very hard for him to stick to. What does that mean? He can get to the eighth month of his license conditions and they can arrest him, put him in custody for two weeks, let him back out on 12 months license conditions and they can roll that on for as long as they want, mate. In my mind, no, first thing I thought, that was fast-tracked. Arrested, caught, jail, quick. Guess what? I think they're building a case against them. I think whilst he's in custody, they're building a case against them. They want his phone, they want what's in that phone, and if they believe in that phone that can incriminate him in far-right activity, they're not going to stop and they're going to spend the next nine months while he's in custody trying to break into that phone. Yes, James? Mm. So, you know, if you can't do the time, don't do the crime. He can do the time. You know, he might be a knobhead, but he's not a weakling. You can't endure, well, he hasn't really endured it. He's done it while he's been twisted on drugs, gone through his mess while he's on drugs, hasn't he? But you can't, even when you're on drugs, you can't really endure that amount of pressure without being some sort of strength, do you understand? You've got to be able to absorb all that, because the psychological damage off when people are cancelling it. So, let's talk about my situation with Tommy Robinson. Where did it come from? Where did it arise from? How did I first come into contact or acknowledge this Tommy Robinson, Stephen Yevley Laxey, whatever they call him? Do you want to hear how he came into my life? He came into my life. I'll tell you how if you want. Bit long-winded, a bit complex, but you'll understand it if you know what I'm speaking about. And obviously it's gonna bring me the shower back into the picture, isn't it? And no, 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 no. You're irrelevant to him. I know, mate. That's why I wonder, why did he contact me? I was irrelevant to him, so why did he contact me? Why did he come into my life? So let's speak about that. So there was all sorts of going on with me, Sean Atwood, James English, and loads of other mad people. And I got approached by two people from Scotland, a woman from Swansea who married the Scottish schmacker, but they're rich and they know how to make money. And they're the worst stalkers in the country. They harass people for dough you know, constantly, to the point where people have unlived themselves. Anyway, these two people have contacted me because I'd said, so. I've done a podcast with English, jumped on English's bandwagon against that one because you could um, give me these documents and these pieces of paper to indicate that. That would was a wrong one. He weren't like, they weren't out he wasn't apparently. But, when I'm around English, he's giving me this documentation. I've started speaking about him. Because I've started speaking about him, these two people have contacted me from nowhere. Out the blue across Instagram. Hi. Blah, 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 blah. Talking posh, but she, she, she attracted her. And she, she was an actor, this woman. And she had she could do th certain accents. You know, when you put the acting thing up on the profiles, it tells them what they can work in. 
So she was using a posh English accent when she's speaking to me. So I'm thinking, well, this posh thing. Then she's got a fella with her in the background. And what they start speaking about is that wood. And they start talking about ba 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 I've got the recording still. I've kept everything still. Always do. So um, I've thought, I'm going to bring me back. So bring me back. I've started recording it. And they're offering me £500 to turn on that wood. And they'll give me £500 every month if I switch on that wood and shop out that wood. Right, so me being me, I just exposed it on social media. Went, get on these, does anyone know who these are? On the back of that, I started getting emails off the Daily Mail. I got some emails through my email accounts off the Daily Mail, chat and madness. And I went, wow, has anyone ever had these? Anyone ever had these type of emails before? Bang, as soon as I put that out there, within six hours, Tommy Robinson's messaging me. I've heard you've had emails off the Daily Mail, blah, 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 blah. something similar like that's happened to me in the past. Do you know where the emails came from? Do you know how, how they got on to you? Do you know how they were connecting to you? Just asking me all my questions. And I just jogged them on. You know what I mean? Just sent them on his way. I was trying to stay out of all this because it was heavy. But I was just dragged into it for some... I don't know, just ended up in the middle of it all. <laughs> That's how he came in my life. And then when I seen him with English and seen him with other people that are being cancelling me out, and when I realised after that period when I jogged them on, because I'm frequenting with people like Malik and other prominent Muslim people within the country, I'm getting harassed. Like, but I automatically, I, I thought straight away, that's coming from this. So he was fair game to me. He's targeting me because I've got mates of Islam. And he's targeting me because I just jogged him on over these email and things that he wanted to know about. And it all came from that mess with Atwood and these weird people who were connected to English. These two, that, that posh beard accents and that Scottish fella, they're connected to Atwood. I mean, um, English and Atwood. You know what, I've got, a, I've got a video there, I might put it out there. Patient saying Tommy go on the block. Tommy's in the block. Oh, Wayne saying Rex on so <laughs> Queen's Park, mate. Oh no, that's Blackpool, isn't it? Oh no, it is Rex on. It'll be good for him this prison though, to be honest with you. Give him a sh little kick up the arse, won't it? Take him out the picture. Let other people lead lead the masses for a bit with a different, you know, different outlook on the Britishness of us all. I'll stick by it. The only reason that went decent, went bosh yesterday, went nice and calm yesterday, because the people on the stage kept the Political, because that's what you're looking at, it's a political movement. You know, it's like, it's like, it's like the people that would have attended to oppose him, you know, opposing marches, just tearing up groups of, groups of Islamic lads screaming about him and his mindset. Because he weren't there, or I, I never seen none of them attend. Never disrupted nothing, never to, and what you'd always see is these, who are these? They popped into Liverpool, caused him madness there when there was no issue. On both occasions, who were they? They're the real threat of democracy. Them things, mate. Yes, Jenny. Who are they, Bizzle? Who are them, who are them other firm? No, that's the peer from nowhere and the police guide them to you. Who are they? Every time I've seen them appear, they're the ones who are causing aggressiveness, provocation. It's like when the Liverpool march on the pier head, 
that was nice and peaceful. Everything was going to plan. No one was there causing murder. No, 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 no. And then all of a sudden, the police just led this crowd weirdos right up to them. And then they started chatting mad and it went off. Yes, Anthony Abbey. You're okay, Nicky, lad. I should have put this on over 18s, to be honest. Got loads of little weird helmets in here. Yeah, Jamie, Big Mac. You stop chatting. Let's get rid of you. Top dad, you call yourself. Should do sub only, that's nah, I'm not asked, mate. Don't read half of them. That's why they're there on repeat for you, themselves. <laughs> I'm alright, I'm 50. It's right, mate. You buzzing. 50 years of age. Good on you, lad. So that's when Robinson came into my little life and that's how he ended up on my radar. And that's when I started there in this madness. Yes, I'm a Sarge, good mate. Give us brownies a shout. Top size of Kalna. Say he's rich. How old are you, Daz? I'm as young as you want me to be, mate. Emma Reynolds, Jamie Wheeler. Diablo saying free your bro. Don't worry about him, lad. He'll get himself free. He doesn't need no helmet trying to shout free him. Trust me on that. John Benny, another dickhead, lad, aren't you? Get out of here. You some Bennett's, mate. Some of a proper dickheads, little daft loan sharks, mate. Get out of there. There's only one decent one, Arias. It's the dads and Franny. The rest of you are dickheads, mate. Get your shit in a twist. Running around, fat elements, loan shark and people on the dole. How far alive look like it should be a football team, say Shannon Simmons. Yeah. Looks like your ma's had a football team, lad. Destroyed, didn't she, lad? You rolled out, never got squeezed out. Like you shit in a twist, lad. Come out doing flip flops. Oh, we've got all the little creatures in from Scotty. Probably got pancakes, daughters, and that in chatter majors. <laughs> the scrogginses and that. The old fan from Scotty. <laughs> yeah. Probably got Lisa, Lisa Kugel smoking pure bifters trolling me to death. Know what I'm saying, people? -na 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 -na. Leonie Lewis sitting there with a pellet gun smoking crack, targeting me. <laughs> yes, yeah, Anna Marie. Adele, ma, you know what them Scotty Rhodes is like? You know that wacky what helmet he is? What's he look like now, lad? Dusty Bin? Hey. <laughs> got on the juice and went mad for a few years. Done a little bit of jail, crumbled. Got out, got his little mate, deals his drugs. <laughs> Funny that wacky, lad. Seen him about eight months ago, no. About 13 months ago. Parked up outside Lime Street. And you've got that concert hall haven't you and you've got like a backstage door and i was just sitting there all angry about something else and seeing him pull up in a mess with one of his mates and i just thought ah you've been talking wacky kids oh but i just left him just observed him hasn't changed a bit hasn't changed a bit Helmet, but because he's in a nice car and a bit of drugs, oh, he thinks he's next level. You know that type of. Sh 
Get him in the corner, put the shits off him, take his blade off him, let him know what time it is. Wow, wow. I remember that wacky lad, what a guy wacky was. So we're having trouble with helmets from Scotty, aren't we? I think one of his cousins or something got legged off us. His cousins ran down to them. They think I've been off the barnets. We're just based on the Grisdale, on the pole. We had a place called the Poles on the edge of the estates. We're all just based there. And we had our rammers, you know. It was that type of moment, so we had rammers parked up, you know, like Nissan Sigmas, Treely Monsters, Granada Cosworths. You know, them type of big machine automatics, Carlton GSIs. <whistles> Take cars off the road, but cost nothing. So we had them just pop parked up in case we needed to get in them fast and chase mode or whatever. So we're all stood by the pole, all having a scream, hot summer's day. We'd had a little bit of chaos with some helmets from Scotty in the morning or something, he'd been legged or something. So now we're fall by the pole, mid-afternoon or something, sunny day, all buzzing, on the weed, chilling, bar eight of us. And we just heard him, <laughs> Coming along Robson Street, someone's bar arm in this golf. I think it's a golf R32 or something, or a four motion it was. A golf four motion, it was Duncan Mills, I think. He was just a little helmet driving it. That type of kid. So he's on Robson Street, bowing along, <laughs> slams it right by us. You think I'm going to bed, you can <laughs> Spins off, I've just went ram it. Two rammers were up and going before he even got round the corner and I were on him. <laughs> up me a lane. <laughs> Down St. Domingo Road, the left towards Scott. <laughs> Get by the court, not the corner house, that boozer on the corner before you do your right towards bumps and that. He's took that out about 80 miles an hour and <laughs> right through a f wall. <laughs> himself in 10 grand deck because the car weighing is ruined himself and everyone else that was in the car we just floated away <laughs> screeched off <laughs> that way in the last time no it works i seen him i seen him again a few years ago when all this shit's kicking in i'm going to the people that i helped win certain things years and years and years ago and go look Bam, 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 trying to do me. I need things so I can go and get rid of these. Nah, we can't give you one, can't give you one, can't give you one. Okay, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You just like them. That's why I started screaming out, pancake and everyone. The shit I'd gone through for these rats, some they knew people were trying to kill me dead and went, no. <laughs> Turn her back on me. In a polite way. It weren't like a no. Oh, we, have, we don't participate in that. We, we haven't got nothing like that no more. Because they knew who was going to get in with. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, me. Okay, you're rats. You're just the same as them. And you're easier to get than them. So I'll sit a few of you off doing the own work on you. So I'll go down, Scotty. Camoed up if you like. Not, not fully camo, Just, you know, moving light. Spotted Wacky, had his nice calf, his new way he goes with the followed him. And he took his kids to Everton Park every weekend and played football with them by himself. In this little caged football thing behind Everton Park swimming box. And I just sat next to a tree there for a good hour and 40 minutes, watched them. Could have took him out only for his children, you know, it's how easy he was. Just got me phone out, zoomed in. <laughs> Thought I'd just have a little head games with the cunts, let them know how easy they are. And just put it out there. <laughs> There's me, always wacky with his kids. <laughs> and that, I've done that with a few of them, you know. Yes, do you know? I've done that with a few of them, mate. You know, it was when all this going on as well. 
uh, the people on the estate that, that was participating in it, I went and sat on them, and instead of me making them, which I quite easily could have, could have put them to bed, it shook the whole families up, and then they knew what they were dealing with, and they had to get rid, basically. So you had this kid called Brian Broad, you heard about him, innit? You've heard me mention him in the past, Brian Broad, Thomas Christian, Frankis Christian, Wheatman, Yinka, you know, that family. And you'd understand that I said that Judgy, whose girlfriend lived next door to Brian Broad, supplied the firearm to me, for me to be shot at on the estate. But it was put in Brian Broad before, and, and it was Kevin Wheatman's Brian Broad's uncle, and Kevin Wheatman's always in this scarf. So I thought, you know what? I'll come and see you. Before all kicked in, I used to go round Brian's and get a weed off him. So I knew his routine, like the back of my hand. And I knew he'd be in his garden around eight o'clock in the evening smoking his weed. So I just went and sat on his back wall for about six hours and waited for him. Smack bang in the corner of his garden and he didn't even know it was from there. Could have just put him out. But I'd learnt off my mistakes. Just done an 18 year prison sentence. Can't be asked going to jail for a knobhead. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it to someone high up there. Not some of the diff daft weed dealer. Do you understand? But I just recorded it. And whispered in it, look how easy you are. And then put it on my social media. You know, and it just caused the psychological effect I needed it to cause. Just letting you know. Don't fit this kid, because he's dangerous. You push him too far, he'll pop up on your step and take your head off. Simple as that. That was a few years ago. You know, when they had me in the corner, groups of them, all different groups coming at me. The people that I'd been backing since a kid, running around doing madness for, I've approached them when this shit's hitting the hotness. Didn't want to, but I weren't going to the police. You know, he had no other option but to listen, give me a thing so I can go and get rid of these. They turned the back on me, rats, all of them. <laughs>